So, we have huge news about 2020 co content roadmap. They just came out with this not too long ago. So, I'm going to hit it as soon as I can. So, if some of y'all remember the quote, all the content, because I was there when the E3 hit in 2019. I remember that. I remember that. Excuse me, French. I remember them saying all the content, meaning we should have had all the, all the episodes and things like that niche. But due to coronavirus, there's that. So it is what it is. So now this comes back up. And of course, it's all on their site. You can check it out too. Link will be in the description. Episode four is literally like two months away. Just a few months away. It's in August. So get ready, operatives. Fancy Star Online 2, episode four. The first major content update released in North America arrives August 2020. Hopefully in that time frame, we, this is June the 12th that I'm recording this. So I'm thinking the only things that we got probably play out and uh, fill out to that time frame. We have Profound Darkness. We also have Tower Defense 4. Both of those that we're waiting on, by the way. We're also waiting on the challenge mode that has not been introduced into the game yet. Not for North America anyway. We also do not have crafting in the game yet. Not on our not on our side. Not yet. They broadcast it on um, IGN or whatever. All they had was nothing more than a trailer that um that we will be going up against Yamato fight. From what I seen, I was at my job at the time frame. They was broadcasting their stream on IGN around like 3.15 PDT. From what I heard, and it was also through the tweets on Play PSO2. Um, for my time frame, it was 5.15 for me. Meaning episode 4 is, again, is literally around the corner. Now, further down, of course they're going to say what's available at launch. 9 classes, episode 1 through 3. Um... Five planets, um, 14 explorable locations. Um, of course, you, you know most of us know about this, but for the new players, they're looking at okay, what what to um, what's available to us. So it's all here. Additional mission types like events, extremes, time attack quests. Um, time attack quests back then used to be one of the best go-to things to do in um, Farm from Aseta. Is no longer a thing. We now have these. Um, what is this? The little weekly missions that you can do, Masetta. They're they're easy, just easy peasy. They don't sleep on them though. Aside from that, uh, far as leveling up real quick, um, again, far as on the JP servers, they had limited quests. They had these um, tickets that you can use for Tokyo. Um, they had Tokyo tickets, both I think silver and gold. They also had what else did they have? They had the Magasu um, ticket for both silver and gold as well. You can spam the AIS machine in there. So that's why it was an easy go to area to level up and um, things of that nature. Um, JP also has like a massive amount of weapons that is just blo it's bloated. Any, ask a JP person the difference between NA and this. And I can also tell you that JP Farza weapons, they are stupid bloated. They're like stupid bloated. Whereas with the NA release, some of the weapons are not available, and some of them are available, but they're available as a cameo. But that's beside, I'm, I'm, I'm a little off topic. I'm still on it, but I'm a little off of it. Um, we have casino mini games. We also have all the good stuff like live events where you see Kwana, um, Hasu Namiku, you know, uh, Characters like that uh, present the music, and you also get live boosts when you just in the little shopping plaza area. Our level cap currently is a uh, is at level seventy five, maybe by five or maybe by ten. But I think in order for you to get the level cap increase, we already have this again. Episode one through three, they call it Oracle. That's available that you can do. Episode one to three for August. What's to come is episode four and five in the third quarter. Episode four is like again. That's two months. That's two months from now. So we don't have we don't have too long. Um, so this would be more than enough time for new players to catch up, to know about the game, to know the movements and the mechanics. You know things like that about the about the game. Learning about it, fixing. Hopefully, episode five. I'm not sure. They may come out in that same month of August. It may come out a month later. Hopefully, fingers crossed. Episode 6 is in the last quarter of the year of 2020, which is amazing. It'll be an awesome year for us, besides this freaking COVID, but that's beside the point. Now, 
here now here's something interesting right here we have new story content we're gonna have new urgent contents we also have battle arena we're gonna have the little ride droids, uh ride droids quest um i know a little bit about it you basically have like a little machine it's on episode four i believe in las vegas where you will um you'll be riding the machine going from one spot to the next it's pretty cool it can it's, it's, to me, it's kind of, uh, I, I couldn't get used to it, but I can manage to get, it'll get me, but it'll get you back. It can get me back. Now, the crafting series, uh, the crafting here, hallelujah, <laughs> is coming for um, episode four, so that's good. Episode four is is going to be, is going to be the go-to thing. It's going to be, I'm looking forward to episode four. And we get a level cap increase from level, uh, to level eight. Episode five. Again, new content, new urgent quest. I cannot wait to play this class. Um, the new Scion class will be Hero. And we'll also have Dark Blast. Dark Blast, in a nutshell, you turn into Dark Falls yourself. And you can tr you can control it. You can control and transform it into Dark Falls. That is what that is. And you have another level cap increase from 80 to 90. So, Again, I'm looking forward to all these. Now, part one for episode six. New content, new urgent quest. We have access, to, we will have access to Phantom. I am super excited about it. And the new difficulty, which I have been seeing some snippets of certain monsters having another, um, they, they look, they have a different skin color. They have another color change. I'll say that. That's much more better. They have a color change. Um, and we have a level cap increase on episode 6. This is the first part for um, episode 6. Again, this may be, um, it's just a wild guess. I'm not exactly sure. I'm not affiliated with them, but I love their content. So I'm guessing maybe late October to mid-November, maybe. Hopefully. Fingers crossed. Um, these are uncertain times. The release schedules is subject to change. So that is also good. So it, 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 it could be a double edged sword. It could be good or it could be a bad thing. But our goal is to reach the party with the yeah is to reach parity with the Japanese service. Eventually, with simultaneous release, moving forward to ensure that both servers deliver the best experience possible to our players. Pretty much saying that's it for the uh, roadmap for you know for us. This is just a part of what's in store for this year. Etwal one, um, Etwal is not in here, but again, this is the first part of episode six, so it's coming down on the line. It's it's coming down later in the line, so I am looking forward to that. I'm surprised that they did not mention challenge mode in here because that was also a thing. I don't know if challenge mode is available. Well, I don't know if they got more uh, missions for you to do in challenge mode. That's what I will say, but um. Arena is gonna be uh, a pretty good, a pretty big deal because the them Revolcio weapons that some of y'all selling and sleeping on, yeah, they have a um, you can use some of them little arena uh, things that you can. I don't know, I haven't got to it, I haven't gotten that far. Um, again, I haven't gotten that far on uh, on my Japanese servers to even know about that. But them Revolcio weapons don't sleep on those, even though they may be the first thirteen stars you may get, don't sleep on. Them. Um, but yeah, all this is here and I will see you in the next video. If this video was helpful, please leave a like, please subscribe, comment down below if I miss anything, and I will see you in the next video. Take care my fellow Arsops. PSO God out.